Hi. Um, now it's time for me to do my deep conditioning. And oh, my hair has, I just shampooed only and put up in this towel for the past, I guess, five, ten minutes. Um, so it's partially dry, but um, not nowhere near 100% dry, maybe 20% dry. Um, I'm going to be deep conditioning today with something I've never used before. It's called Organics. Well, that's the brand by Africa's Best. Hair mayonnaise. Can you see that? I hope you can. Um, I've never used this brand before, but I have used a hair mayonnaise before by Organic Root Stimulator, and I liked it. Um, and it's a protein, but also moisturized. Um, so hopefully this will just be a cheaper version of that. We'll see. This one was three fifty nine. Oh, three seventy nine. Have two different prices. One here and one there. Okay. Um. Whoa. I normally do my hair in three sections for this. Um, I rough part always, and <laughs> when I put it on, it's fairly sloppy. Um, but it doesn't much matter, I don't think. I do the back in one full section, and then the front in two sections. So, and I do not comb. Um, in the shower when I shampooed, I just finger combed. Oh, let me turn around. I hope you can see. I run it through. I know some people um, tend to do this much. Tend to do um, their deep conditioners like um, you would do a touch up or a, a relaxer. But for me, I just I don't know. It seems like it takes so long. I just run it through like that. So every strand right now feels coated. So what I'll do is break the section in half and do each section separately. Oh, that's how much. I hope you can see. Um, it smells okay, this stuff, so hopefully it'll work alright. <laughs> um, again. I'm doing each section separately. I get down to the ends and I kind of twist each section so I know that it gets mushed in well, so that's section one. I take it, I roll it up into a loose um, bun, and I clamp it with a clip, a little grabber, and I do the same thing for each section. Oh, here's my texture if you guys want to see that. Um, it's dried somewhat, but you can see kind of the curl pattern, I think. I don't know. Oh, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I hope you can see. Um, so, I have it rough parted down the middle. And I'll do the front two sections the same way. Taking a little bit more. Oh, can you see that? Started the ends, I guess, and I worked my way up. Now that I'm doing it for an audience, I'm kind of more aware of my technique. I like letting my hair dry some um, before I put in conditioners, even regular conditioners. I like just towel drying my hair. I feel like the less water in my hair, the more conditioner will get absorbed by my hair. Okay, I'm actually going to do, I slathered my whole hand with it, I'm just going to rake it down this way. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's in there, you hear that? Okay. And now my hair is so slippy I can't get the grabber, here we go. I think I just broke my clip just now. Let's see what happens when I try to take it out. And then we do the same thing on this side. Can you see that? I'm starting at the bottom, working it up to the top. And so I will stay under the con under the uh, my little heat cap for probably 20 minutes, 
and then I'll let my hair cool back down to room temperature um, by just, you know, I don't know, doing my nails or something. And then I'll go right back under the heat cap um, for another 15 minutes. I don't know why I do this. I don't know if I've read it somewhere or if I heard it. But I just, I don't know, I feel like it works better than just staying under for a long period of time. And in between, um, I will go and touch up the root part and the f like all around the edges with more conditioner. Just so that I'm just sure that it's 100% coated. Okay, so I did all three sections. So now I loosen it because I can't fit under my heat cap with my hair in the three buns. So what I do is, well now I'm just gonna do, take that big glop and apply it to the parts. And let it run through. Now my hair is sufficiently coated. Can you see, I hope you guys can see this. My hair is sufficiently coated with the product and I take it back loosely. Ugh, it's so slimy. I take it back loosely and I put it up in a loose French twist. I hope you can see that. I hope you saw that. A loose French twist. And I'll just put one clip at the top to hold it. Actually, I'm going to put two clips at the top right now to hold it under the heat cap. There we go. I put a plastic bag and then I go under my little heat cap and first I'm going to wash my hands. <laughs> so that's it for now and the next time you see me will be when I rinse out the deep conditioner and have detangled so you can see the final product before I start the process of flat ironing. Bye!